All right, and up next we got Andre Feely taking on Daniel Pineda. Feely's coming here with a 21 and 8 record. He's 31 years old, 5'11 with a 74 inch reach. Come back on Pineda, he is 27 and 14, uh, 35 years old, 5'7 with a 70 inch reach. So Feely's going to have the height and reach advantage here. Uh, breaking down the last couple fights, Feely is coming off a loss to Bryce Mitchell. Uh, Bryce Mitchell is a great fighter. Uh, he did pretty much just out grapple him. Pretty much did what he's doing to everybody right now, and just putting the pace on him and out grappling him. Uh, he, Feely was able to hold his own and not get submitted, uh, so that's a good good look in his own right. Uh, before that, he does have a split decision win over Charles Jourdain, which I think he pretty much won pretty clearly. I think the judges were just showing a lot of love for Jourdain. And uh, before that, he did have a loss to Sadiq, uh, Sadiq Yusuf, and uh, yeah, he got he got a. He lost a unanimous decision in that fight. Uh, he was getting pieced up, uh, but he showed a lot of a lot of toughness staying in there with someone like uh, Sadiq because uh, you know Sadiq got a lot of power. Uh, man, what can we say about Philly? He's been in the UFC for a long time. He's fought a lot of great competition. He's finished a lot of great competition. I uh, I don't believe he's been finished too often. Uh, I think he, uh, a couple times against Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez. Um, but man, those are you know we're talking about the upper echelon of the division here. And uh, when he's fighting the lower lower ranked guys, he's running through them. Uh, he does work on those guys. He puts them out. So uh, the comeback on Pineda, this is his second stint in the UFC. Uh, he's coming off a loss to Cub Swanson where I cashed on Cub as a, uh, I think he was, a, I'm pretty sure he was an underdog on that one. So that was a great, great look. Uh, not so much for Pineda because I believe the man's coming off the, the, the juice is winding down. He had his first uh, win in the UFC where he spoiled the, the come out party for Herbert Burns. Uh, everybody was on Herbert Burns that week and he came out and just, uh, you know, smashed him in that second round. Uh, but man, I think those were, uh, we were seeing residuals of uh, that steroids use that he got popped for uh, over there in the PFL. And uh, after that, man, he's just... Uh, yeah, he was looking like shit uh, against Cub Swanson. He's, he faded really fast. He looked flat. If he comes in here looking like that, he will get finished again. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm taking Feely. Um, but for sure, this one's going to be a, a be fireworks because Pineda does come for it. A lot of his uh, fight, a lot of his fights are finishes regardless if he's uh, winning or losing. So it's going to be a good one. Yeah, I definitely expect a finish in this fight, uh, 100%. Uh, Touchy Feely, um, he is a very well-rounded fighter. Um, he does his best work from kickboxing range. Uh, he has uh, he has a good advantage and, and height and reach here, and he should look to keep this fight <coughs> keep this fight there at, at range and in, in kickboxing range. Uh, for Pineda, he is a savage. Uh, he you know he all of his wins are by finish. You know all twenty seven of them, nine uh, nine knockouts, eighteen submissions. So anytime this goes to the judges, it's an L for him. Uh, so uh, P- Pineda is a finisher, and he is going to come out. And um, I-, I look for Pineda to make this a brawl. Which, uh, you know, Feely does fall in love with the war at times, which, uh, you know, could come back to bite him in the ass. But uh, if he can withstand the early flurry from Pineda, uh, he does, Pineda does tire out. And uh, I think Andre, Andre should be able to, to land his shots and, uh, you know, and look, uh, probably looking for that head kick and, uh, you know, and get him out of there. Uh, they have Feely at minus 225 and uh, Pineda at plus 185. Uh, I'm with you. I, I like Feely here, and uh, you know he might be able to finish him. They got the under at uh, two and a half minus one ten. So yeah, under wouldn't be bad. That's honestly, uh, I like that spot a lot. Um, I like that spot a lot. So yeah, man, Feely's the pick. The unders on um, might be on the parlay. Who knows? Stay tuned.